ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the GFC closing part of Group B. I'm here with Animated J, Lust, and Jump. We are absolutely ready for these amazing light shows. Jay, how you feeling? Man, I've been feeling wonderful. Honestly, like, I enjoyed every single one of these light shows and, you know, the rounds to come. So just want to give a shout out to everyone here that's been participating and sharing love. Keep doing your thing. Absolutely. And, and sincerely, thank you to everybody that's participated. This has been an amazing tournament so far. And we are, we're not even half, well, I guess, I guess this is about halfway through because round one and two are definitely the more intensive rounds. So we're probably at a, around the halfway point or will be so by the end of the round. Anyway, um, judges, Lust, Jump, Lust, how you feeling? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. Great day to watch some light shows. Um, you know, something I really enjoy about watching uh, numerous videos from people in a short amount of time is you really get a sense of their style and how their light shows look and what makes them different, what sets them apart. So I'm excited to see four new shows from these guys and uh, get a little better feel of their show and stuff. So I'm excited. Awesome. Jump, how you feeling? Um, pretty much the same, kinda like how Les said, you know, it's a new round, so I'm expecting to see different type of light shows and everything, you know. Um, not sure what songs they're gonna choose, so who knows? They may put together something that they are not comfortable with, or maybe something that they are comfortable with and they may go out with a bang or not. But let's get to it. I mean, I'm ready to see kind of, I mean, round two, like, let's go. Yeah. All right. So uh, before we get started on this round two, I just want to remind everybody watching at home or uh, watching, even if you're not at home, if you're watching this video and uh, on, on, on your phone somewhere waiting in line, uh, if you're at the DMV, I'm sorry. If you're at the dentist, I'm really sorry. Uh, but this is the cutoff round. So, uh, Glover's scores for round one and round two uh, will be combined after this, and the top three scores for each group will move on to the playoffs. They will join six contenders, and they will be paired up in the individual one-on-one -on -one matches. So we have three spots to uh, secure from Group B. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our Glovers for the episode. We have Curiosity, Mute, Tomo, and JPEG closing it out. So without further ado. Here's curiosity. Comrade, yes, uh, that was curiosity and yeah, animated. J Actually, real quick, um, joke aside, I do want to comment something seriously about this show before I pass it off to you, Jay. Uh, that lighting, as simple as it may sound, was actually a very perfect balance. Like, I felt like it was dark enough that I was could get involved with the lights, but light enough that I could see 
everything, including his tuts and, and everything. So just kudos to curiosity for whether it was unintentional or not. Um, uh, the lighting and, and also that move. I do this guy a lot and I, I, I absolutely love this move. So just a kudos to that, but I'm, I'm going to shut up. I normally don't say things in these shows. Jay, Jay, how you feeling? Yeah, man. Um, that was a, uh, I like it. It was, I felt like it was a magician showing me different bags of tricks, you know, uh, saw some clusters, saw some tuts. I like the thing that really stuck with me, honestly, was this thing where he was, there was something yeah. about that. I really like that. I would say play yeah. with that, mess with that, see what else you could do with that. Um, and then, you know, those angles, it's really cool to see, you know, a Glover, like, kind of get into, like, these different angles and bringing them around and et cetera like that. The only thing I would say is just be cautious. Like, I know it's sometimes it could be difficult, so you, it's like a frozen, you know, you kind of just want everything to kind of just keep going and flow. So just little hesitations here and there with that tuck light ball. But uh animated Jay just dropping some fire tuts real quick. <laughs> this, oh, this, oh, oh, this, man teaches, this man teaches tutting classes on yougotmoves.com. Just yougotmoves.com slash animated J. Uh if you want to learn how to do that, because that was fire. But sorry, I'm gonna shut up now. Yeah, so no, since we're talking about tuts, lust, what did you think about those angles? Um, honestly, I loved, I loved, I think it was like one down here he had that was really, it was just like crisp and hit it really nicely. There were a couple that he was kind of pushing his, his comfort zone, doing the, uh, one where you bring your elbow up, right? Um, not quite getting it there. So just be, you know, uh, aware of, you know, the elbow, on, the angle on your elbow, uh, things like that. In terms of cleanliness. Um, it was fairly clean, but uh, then again, uh, there were some clusters, and instead of having them all along the same linear line, he kind of had two dropped or vice versa. Um, just to make sure, like, those things are deliberate if you want them to be deliberate and make sure, you know, that the audience is able to see that that is something deliberate you're doing. And then, of course, I, I love this move, too. Um, Teddy actually showed me that when he first came up with it, probably like five years ago, and he was like geeking over it and just doing all the different variations. So it was great to see someone else use that move. And, you know, uh, whether, you know, you came up with it yourself or you saw it and you implemented it into your show, you know, uh, it's a great move. Love to see it. Um, and in terms of difficulty of concepts, I think, uh, the tuts really helped you out there. And, uh, in terms of things like transitions, uh, I know you did this move and it seemed like you didn't know how to switch it the other direction. So you kind of like picked up and pushed it to the other side. So also making sure your, you know, moves connect and things like that will really help you progress as a Glover, but, uh, love the show. Uh, it was great. Thanks. Nice, nice, nice. Now, how about jump? What did you see there when it comes to, I don't know, the whole presentation, this this performance aspect? Well, let me first just off say that, like, you, Jay, and you, Lust, we all, like, we all saw that one move, just that one move, whatever it was, like, I don't even talk. I'm probably not even doing it right, but, like, that was the move that caught my eye, like, you know, um, the presentation of it, like, everything was just so well put together, like, you know, his angles and everything, like, I, it, things were, like, his angles, like, the way he was cutting, it was almost, like, it was, like, collapsing, so, like, it was, like, collapsing, like, you know, just, like, you know, combining, like, you know, um, exactly, like, what you're doing right there, Jay, like, you know, it wasn't like slider. <laughs> it was. It wasn't sliders. It was basically like collapsing. So like, it was a really in like intriguing light show, and I was really impressed by it. That was dope. Yeah, true, true. Again, those angles and that. Yeah, this this really was a highlight. Um, thoughts yeah, by really Jay. Cool. Something I noticed that you, uh, curiosity, you're wearing a Naruto shirt, which I'm assuming you're into the show. So you know. Maybe incorporate some of the hand jutsus they use. That would be dope. Creativity points. Okay, I'm done. Teddy, 
<laughs> Fantastic. Well, that was Curiosity. And now let's go ahead and take a look at Mute. Turning on the news, I feel removed. All I see is endless people dying. Throwing away your youth. Calling out the truth. How we gonna Jay, you look like you've already got something on your mind from that show. Yeah, I felt like uh, I was watching the mouse on a on a screen like drag and drop, like I like it was click and it moves, click and it moves, like click and it moves, click and it moves, click, 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 click. <laughs> That's how I saw it. Um, clean, clean. He stuck to his gun, stuck to what he does. I could tell he's comfortable with what he does. Um, that being said. Get a little bit uncomfortable. That's what I would say. Push the limits a bit. But, you know, that's just all what I would got to say for that. But dope. Dope show. Dope lighting. Chill. Relaxing. Now, just like that picture right behind you, Lust. Chill. Relaxing. Colorful. Chaotic as well. What do you got to say about this show, Lust? About the, you know, the, the structural part of it. Um, I really like the show. I like the energy in this show. Um... You can tell that a lot of his moves are very well practiced, um, very clean, uh, smooth things look smooth. Um, uh, you know, when you do those like pops and those uh, things like that, you know, he really, it, it looks good. It looks, you know, as good as it's supposed to look. And uh, I really enjoyed that. I think he could have been using his space a little more. The space he did use was very well done, though. You know, uh, when you're doing things like depth, um, e even a simple move like this, right? It, it You get more emphasis out of it in, instead of just going like this, right? Mm -hmm. So little things like that, you know, some of his moves had a lot of pop, had a lot of flair, um, and he used depth really well in those areas. And in terms of the complexity, you know, uh, most of his movements were fairly simple, but they were very refined. So I think it, it's kind of like you said, Animated Jay, you know, stepping outside of your comfort zone might be the way to go or, you know, stick to a refined show. Everyone has their preference. You know, a lot of times when you step out of the box, you sacrifice cleanliness and you know maybe some parts of uh jump side of things so it's it's just practicing whatever you want to practice and implementing it into your show and you know i i really like this one I, I thought it was very feelsy so i'm excited to see what jump has to say mm, feelsy jump did you feel it was feelsy it was definitely feelsy like i i don't know whether it was like the song choice and just like the the color choice it all kind of like clicked together like it was really it was really well put and then on top of that a badass light show i would say um definitely um some of like you know the moves that he was like putting together and everything it really just like flowed so well and i was um you know 
kind of like caught off guard like on some of the things like I, I love when Glover's like pause and they exaggerate like you know let us see like what you're really doing rather than trying to just cram all these moves in together for this like one segment I felt like it was again like I said really well put like not too rushed you felt the energy in it mm. yeah I love that energy live for it there you go keep that energy keep you know again like when you're looking at these videos you know look at everything it's the whole you know the puzzle pieces make the whole so the energy the music the flow the colors the background take in consideration many things okay teddy hmm. all right now let's go ahead and take a look at tomo <laughs> Tomo, uh, Animated J, how are you feeling? I felt like I saw an electric tornado. So, you know, it, it's really cool, honestly. Like, that was really, like, high from, like, what I've been seeing, you know, especially, like, it was impacting. And did he have the lights on his palms? He did that have palm cool. lights. Yeah, he had palm lights. I like that. You know, that's the thing. Like, be different. Stand out from everyone. There's a million Glovers out. Like, do different stuff. I know people have done that before, but, you know, like, add some something different, you know? Um, the other thing is I would say is uh, I kind of felt like I just picked a random part in a movie and pressed play. Um, like, in that beginning, like, the logo went on, and he's doing stuff in the, behind the logo, and I'm like, wait, wait, like, I want to see what, like, I don't know. Give me an introduction. Don't throw me in just into the movie. But uh, that's all I got to say. Lust, what do you want to share on that control, on that you know, foundation? Yeah. So in terms of cleanliness, you know, Tom was very clean. Uh, you know, one of my, one, I think my favorite part of the show is when he goes up or he goes up like this. I, I, I forget where he goes up, but he goes up and then he comes back down with the other lights on i was like oh you know things like that are really creative you know i haven't seen that combo ever thrown in you know the hundreds and thousands of impacting videos i've watched so that point, kind she of does watch all the videos literally all of them <laughs> multiple times multiple times um and so see, seeing new combos like that really caught my eye you know in terms of difficulty I felt like his impacting, you know, hits hits a higher difficulty in terms of his placement, in terms of the combos he's throwing, uh, things like that. Uh, in terms of his, like, trail sequences, his whip sequences, I didn't think there was anything too unique or too difficult that he threw, but he threw them very cleanly. Um, and overall, his use of space was really nice. Um, I would just point out, that for me, when you're on that mode three on the iNova and you're throwing really fast whips, um, you know, you're is that really giving you a something different opposed to having that thumb off, right? Like why are you holding it for a second? Are you creating some sort of trail with it? Um, 
what is the purpose of having it on mode three at, during that time. So just some things to consider, but uh, overall it was a beautiful show. I can't wait to see more from this guy. He's definitely one to watch out for. So yeah. Dope, dope. Okay. Jump. Let's talk about that introduction, you know, because it's important. The first couple seconds, you know, I feel of a light show. Um, yeah, I mean, really, you, like, um, like you said, you you felt kind of like you were rushed into it, right, Jay? Yeah, I I I do agree upon that. Like, you know, um, when people are giving a light show, and I feel like they they rush too quickly into it, it you know, it kind of, like, you know, takes you back, and you're kind of wondering, like, okay, is this gonna, like, is it gonna get any better? Is it not? Like, you know, where are we going with this? But, you know, it was a great live show, but, you know, with having such a rush, like, introduction, it was kind of hard to, like, you know, grasp and kind of get an idea of, like, where we were going with this. So, like, with that being said, like, you know, that kind of also takes into a factor with the showmanship because like you know telling your story and like you know whatever you're putting out there it's not really like putting things together it's also it's kind of like just putting things like you know in like uh like categories like you know a b c or d it's like not all like flowing all together it's not just like a like a theme it's just kind of like you know just like a panel of things so that's kind of like how i felt about it but um it was a great light show i will say yeah, totally. I agree with that. It was fire. Once like I was able to like, okay, like I'm on the same track, the same speed, then it was fire. So keep doing your thing and uh, enjoy that introduction. No need to rush. Teddy? All right. And it is now time for the main event of the episode and the closing show of Group B. Ladies and gentlemen, JPEG. <laughs> Superstars, all these models and fast cars, but this rhythm, I need it. 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 Zombie Raiden. Let's be clear. That was Zombie Raiden from Mortal Kombat with the with, with the with the with the with the arms in the beginning and how he just kind of like kind of laid everything and like you tell like in his shoulders too. Oh. Right. Came was, with it. That was dope. It was so solid. Like it, it was so wild because he has that gloving foundation and on top of that, like listening, really listening to the sounds because I know we had some other glovers use this song. Um, and then the way he touched because I noticed like. You know, there's like there's basic ways, you know, to touch. Um, and, but he was using this whole like reaction thing, like it was like a, I go around, I go like that, I'm this way. And this. It was it was dope. It was really cool. I enjoyed that. This one was, I think, a, a highlight for me. That being said, I'm gonna let Lust just kind of share what you want to share about this one. Yeah. So uh, I was just saying how. You know, I felt a lot of people's round one difficulty and complexity was 
a little bit better than their round two videos and they were focusing more on other areas but honestly like jpeg had to come in and slay <laughs> um so i uh, really enjoyed he had his tuts are you know super clean he has some flail tuts that look really nice um uh you know different combinations with putting he had uh, some great use of space. I love, you know, when you grab your hand and throw it, you know, things like that, that just make it, make the show have more energy, more intensity, more showmanship. Jump will get into that. But um, overall, I mean, cleanliness, use of space, difficulty, uh, he killed this. He killed it. So. He killed it. He killed it. Jump, again, letting you just feel free to share what was on your mind for this show. Um, definitely the musicality was key in this light show. Um, just like, again, like he was paying attention to like every single like beat that was happening. Like, you know, it sounded like, uh, kind of like something falling down, like a tube, like the and the way that the moves that he was doing, it just like, it all connected. I was just like waiting for more. I was like, wait, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? It was like, it was one of those light shows. I was just like, damn, I was like, keep on going. I was like. It was so good. Like, you know, um, I would love to get a live show from um, JPEG uh, in the future, you know. So, like, you know, put me on the list. I'm down for that. But, no, it was it was pretty insane. Like, you know, it, the, the, the delivery of the moves and everything like that, too, it was, like, very well put together. So, I was um, uh, really um, impressed and, I don't know, shocked about that show. Let's just say that. That was so that was a highlight definitely for me. So looking forward to seeing you again, Zombie Raiden. <laughs> All right. And with Zombie Raiden, we're going to go ahead and close out Group B. I want to go ahead and thank uh, Lust and Jump for joining us. They're going to go ahead and fill out their scores. And uh, then you'll be able to check online and see who has made it from Group B. And we'll also have Group A's scores posted up as well. Um, now, uh, before we move on, there is one more thing that we have all been waiting for. So, Animated J, what is our Group B roundtable topic for this week? The roundtable topic is standing, kneeling, or sitting. How does that play a role in light shows? Oh, all right. Gloving posture. I like it. All right. So... Thank you once again for joining us for Group B. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And oh, of course, don't forget to hit the bell. And uh, speaking of comments, if you like what we said, if you disagree with what you said, if you think we missed anything, please let us know in the comments below. We'd love to interact. We'd love to talk with you guys and uh, answer any questions for you. So thanks again. Uh, we'll see you back in a couple days for the roundtable on gloving posture. Thank you.